Hey everybody, this is Dirk with Terrible Gaming, and I just wanted to bring you a little bit different video than we normally see here. You'll see some Halo 5 in the background. I'm pl doing my placement matches for SWAT. Haven't played this game in a while, but I thought it was kind of fitting with the topic we're talking about today. And it's Microsoft's E3 announcements and their games. Didn't watch it, honestly, because I was afraid I was going to be disappointed, which I was after the fact I checked it out. Mainly because I don't understand Microsoft's game plan here. I love Microsoft, been an Xbox gamer my whole life. Well, except for when I was playing PlayStation games, but that's another story. But actually, no, it's not. It's really not. It kind of goes back to the same thing. X when, when Xbox One and PlayStation 4 were announced, there was two different philosophies. Microsoft was pursuing with Xbox One a multimedia device. Sony was pursuing a gaming console. And I think after at least watching today the bits and pieces of the Xbox One, they are doing just that. And I'm afraid, though, that as someone who is a gamer, I'm taking the gaming over the multimedia. I don't need another device to play Netflix. I don't need another device to do YouTube. I have four or five of them already that can be connected to my TV. I don't need another one. I want real good gameplay, which right now you're seeing I can't do Look at that. I missed that guy was still there. He just spawned. I couldn't even spawn kill him. Anyway, that's what I want. I want real good gameplay. And I don't think Microsoft has shown me that that's something that they are looking into. Yes, they make they have good games. And there are AAA titles that are going to be on Xbox. I, I get that. But what you see, they're showcase. They're showcasing with the new console, the Xbox One X, the Scorpio. 4K, 60 frames a second. Awesome. I love it. It's beautiful. That's cool. But there's no titles that are drawing me in that's making me go, yes, I need to get an Xbox One X. Or if I'm just a regular guy who doesn't have one already, if I have a PlayStation, why would I ever get an Xbox? What is it about Xbox that draws me in? Is it the 60 frames a second? Is it the 4K? Okay, let's say that it is. What am I going to play on it? Uh, a good chunk of the AAA titles that are out have exclusives for PlayStation. Now, whether you agree or believe in exclusive, that's a whole other story, but where we are at now, that's what we have. Microsoft did absolutely nothing for me as a gamer to make me excited about this unveil they did. I'm excited about Cuphead because they've announced that it seems like it's been, what, two years, one year now that we've been waiting for it. 60 frames a second, 4K. Yeah, I'm excited about that. But what am I going to play on it? I mean, there was no Halo announcement, which is kind of why I'm playing this now. There was no, like, any, like, gotta play games. They're selling Xboxes as fast as they can for as cheap as they can right now, which is good. More people playing, I dig it. But what are we playing on it? What draws someone into it? I'm still excited for last year's, and I think the previous year's, E3 announcement from Sony just from those alone more so than I am for what uh, Microsoft announced for last year and this year I'm still excited for Days Gone The Last of Us 2 God of War as a gamer one of the things I realized back during the PlayStation 3 360 era back when 360 when the Microsoft held the, the title that currently Sony has as the gaming platform to have for multiplayer experiences, for competitive stuff, you know, Call of Duty, Halo, stuff like that, is the fact that Microsoft focuses on those things, and Sony focuses on good gameplay. And I don't mean it to say, like, Xbox doesn't, but some of my most visceral connections to games have been through the Sony PlayStation platform, The Last of Us, as just as one example of many. And with that strong, deep bench that Sony has to pull from, by the way, that was a terrible jump, oh my gosh. From that deep bench that Sony has to pull from, on top of their focus they've made to getting AAA content, focused, premiered, highlighted, exclusive, whatever, on the PlayStation 4, 
as a gamer, I, it's, I mean, if it wasn't obvious already, I think it is quickly becoming obvious from the direction that Microsoft's taking, not even factoring in Sony's E3, which has not happened yet at, at the time of this video. I am excited for PlayStation 4 owners. I am not excited as an Xbox One owner. And this is not an Xbox Microsoft competition at all. This is gaming in general. I'm not excited as an Xbox owner because there's really nothing for me. I don't. I'm not excited. I hate that. I want to be excited for what I'm playing on. And I think Xbox has good equipment. Good. They have good everything else but the games. They focus on everything else to make them top quality, and I think they've done a great job, but the games. And I think they really need to turn that around. I'm just not excited about it anymore. Share your thoughts with me on what you think about that. Leave a comment, like, or dislike the video, but let me know. I'm curious what you guys have to say. Thanks for listening, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching and supporting our channel. If you enjoyed this video, click right here for our latest upload or click right here for another episode. And click our channel icon in the middle to subscribe.